In this video, let's talk about text, center, and padding. So a text widget is a very simple widget which is used to display a string of text. Now the string of text might break across multiple lines or be in the single line which highly depends on the layout constraints of the screen that you view it on. Now let us add a text to the body of our app. So we use the text widget and we put in some text here. Hello world. Now we make a hot reload. <coughs> now as it is visible, hello world has appeared on the body of the screen. Now let us style it a bit. We can use the style argument to change its font or make it bold or italic. So let us begin by increasing its size, font size to say 25. And let's also make it bold. So we select font weight and inside font weight we say the font weight attribute and make it bold. So what this does is that it will increase the font size of hello world and also make it bold at the same time as it is visible at the moment. Now there are certain conditions where you would like to add some styling inside the same line but to different words. That is also achievable in Flutter by using a constructor called text.rich. So let us remove this and place it inside text.rich in a way that we can change hello and the styling of world differently, separately. So inside text span, we add children of type text span. And as the first text span, we add the text hello and stylize it. Say hello. And we add some style to it. So as a style, let's make hello italic. Instead of bold, let's make it italic. Let us also increase the size of it to say 25, it should be okay. Now in another text span, we, we will add the word world and give it a different style. So let us just copy this, change the text, world. And for the style, let us just keep it simple but increase the font size to 25. Now when we make a hot reload, you can see that the, the size is the same like we mentioned, but hello has become italicized and world remains the same. Now let us talk about bringing this text to the center of the screen. Sometimes the text you rec the app requires the text to be in the center of the screen. So we can do that by using the center widget. So what we do is that we place all of this and make it a child of the center widget. Like this. And now you can see that the text has been aligned to the center of the screen. Now there are certain instances when you don't want it to be in the center of the screen, but you want the text to be in a place elsewhere in the screen where it's, it's not in the center. So to do that, we have a singular property which we call padding. So to demonstrate padding, let us just simplify this example and make a simple text. So let us remove this 
and make another text widget. Say hello world. Now to apply padding to this, we will wrap it in the padding widget. and add the property of edge insects insects dot all now what edge insects dot all does is that it applies a padding of certain pixels on all four sides of the text so we pass the text as a child and now when we make a hot reload okay Yes, perfect. So now when we make a hot reload, you can see that it's not in the corner, but it is not in the center as well. It is somewhere diagonally in the middle. So that shows that we have a padding of 30 pixels on the top, on the left side, bottom and on the right side. Now, we can also apply padding to the sides that we want to apply it to but not all the sides as well at the same time so to do that we use edge insights dot only and then we mention explicitly mention the sides where we want it to be so let's say for example this example we will apply a padding of 30 pixels just to the top of the text and let us increase the size a bit so that you can read it We'll make it 25 again. So now you can see that the padding is applied only to the top and not on the left hand side. So it is still sticking to the screen. And it is, so let's increase the padding a little bit more just to demonstrate how it works. And it has moved a further, uh, further downward so that there is, so you can see that there is 90 pixel padding on the top only. So this is the most basic concept of padding, center and text. Now you, it is important to note that center and padding cannot, can be applied to text, but not only text, but it can be applied to any widget. So this is it for this video and we will see you next time.